Welcome to day eight of your lifestyle challenge. Today we're doing a full body strength workout. So grab some medium to heavy dumbbells, a mat, and it's optional to use a mini band. Today we're doing a no repeat workout. Each exercise move will be one minute long and every muscle group we work, we will get a chance to do two exercise moves per muscle. Also, we're gonna be focusing a lot on isolation work and this allows us to bring more definition to each muscle group. A lot of times when we start to do compound moves, which I absolutely love, certain muscle groups tend to get overlooked. So today we have the opportunity to really define all those muscles. During our workout, we will be reviewing our two banner scriptures this week, 2 Timothy 1.7 and Isaiah 54.17, we will work on during the cool down. Now let's go into prayer. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for everyone watching. I pray, Lord, that you give us all the strength we need to endure during this workout. Help us not give up, not only in our workout today, but help us not lose faith. And I just pray for anyone watching that you would infuse faith in them today and that the words throughout the workout, the motivation, the uh, music will encourage them on their faith and fitness journey. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get started with our warm-up. All right, let's begin our warm-up with some big shoulder rolls and big smiles. I'm thankful you showed up. What are you thankful for? Add some big hands. Reach your fingers out. That's right, we're gonna work a lot of upper body and lower body. Reverse it now. And we will start with your legs first because those are your largest muscles, so we do wanna get those going and working. Big hands up. Now swing your arms around, open up that chest and back. Good. Take it over to a side lunge to the right. Reach one hand up, one hand down. Switch it. And we'll do it again. Wonderful, hands on the hips, reach your hands to the floor, stretch your glutes and hamstrings. And as you come up, curl your left leg over, open the hips and quads. Switch. Nice, shake it off, you can kick your legs around. And let's put those legs to work. Now go ahead and grab a weight. Thumbs up, don't forget to like the video before we start. And your first move is a wide and narrow squat pulse. So we're gonna take it out wide, come narrow. And don't forget those narrow squats can help activate your adductors as well as the glutes, quads, hamstrings. Keep your head above your chest, core is on. Push your hips and booty to the back wall. Let's go. Up next, 
slow squats. You're gonna go two and two. So I don't want you to rush these. I want you to go slow so you feel the burn. Go. And notice that there's a little focus in the pause at the bottom. Nice. Now we're going to move into a left side three pulse lunge with a tap or a lift. So your front knees bend at 90 degrees. You're pulsing that back knee to the towards the floor. And you're going to work hard here. You need to slow down. That's okay. Now when we're doing these single leg movements, it can help activate your stabilizing muscles to really develop that balance work your core work and stability. And notice that my hips, shoulders and knees are all in line, my back knee. As I go down, my hips and shoulders go straight down with me, not leaning forward. Now, if that wasn't enough, stay on that same leg because we're now going into a single lunge. So just basic down and up. Modify by decreasing your range of motion or ditching your weight. Stay with it, come on, you're almost there, the clock is still ticking. Now shake it off, you need that little break. If you need more time, pause sooner, pause longer, and take it to the other side. Now listen, lunges are not only working your legs, your glutes, right, stabilization, but it's also going to strengthen your back, right, because your core muscles are working and they're not putting too much stress or strain on your spine, right? So that can also help reduce injury when your spine is strong and your posture is good. All right, take a moment, stretch it out, shake it off. You're gonna be okay. A minute does feel like a long time, but it's not forever. Here we go.
Yes, you can. Keep going. You're not quitting. And there you go. Let's take a break from the legs. Let's go into upper body now. Halfway around curls. So keep your elbows close to the lowest rib cage. Palms face your body on your way up. Halfway to one side. Bring it down and halfway to the other side. thing this is also working your forearms not just your biceps keep your core strong so you let your biceps do all the work not your lower back it's not swinging around abs are strong nice now we're just going to do more curls because we're really working that this uh, bicep area now. So we're gonna do four up, four down. We're slowing down and it's really nice because right now we're doing isolation work and it helps really keep focus and obviously provide more definition in these specific areas. Working those guns, let's go. You can alternate as an option. Nice, let's move into triceps, alternating tricep extensions, or we can call them kickbacks. I want you to do one at a time because the second move, we're also doing triceps. So, hinging at the hip, keep your elbows close alongside your body, squeeze as you extend. Back is flat. Nice. Let's come up. Now make sure that your palms are facing up this entire time. You're going to lift as you keep your arms as straight as possible. It's okay to have a slight bend in the elbow, but you're going to come up and tap your dumbbells. Back is nice and strong. Core is on. Stay strong. Don't you give up.
All right, next we're gonna be going to the floor. Just kidding, we're taking a break. <laughs> All right, get some water. And let's go over 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hear that? He's giving you a sound mind. And half the time when we're working out, the battlefield is just in the mind. It's not that you can't do hard things. It's not that you can't do that push-up. It's not that you can't do that move. It's that you've convinced yourself you can't. Your body is capable of so much more than you know. God is a wonderful designer, and he has given you strength. You just got to believe it. You got to try new things. And it's okay if you fall. You'll do it again until you get it. All right, next, plank tap outs with push-ups. Okay, work in your shoulders, chest, tri, core, wrist directly on your shoulders. Here we go. So it's two push-ups with two tap outs. And of course you could do this on the wall or on your knees. All right, we're gonna be doing a quick transition in just a second and switch chest presses. You're gonna lay on your back. Okay. Weights come right in front of your chest. You're gonna extend them up, elbows towards, I'm sorry, your palms. Ah, your fist towards the ceiling. Core is strong. Squeeze as you extend up your chest, your pecs. And I want you to think about as you lift your dumbbells over, think about driving the shoulders into the floor while you're flexing your mid-back muscles, okay? And lower the dumbbells towards your chest, keeping flexing those back muscles. It should really help feel like you're pulling the dumbbells like towards your chest, if that makes sense. Nice job, a quick 10 second transition. You're gonna come up quickly. We're doing a wide back pull. You're bending at your hip, folding at the hip, driving your elbows up towards the sky, nice and wide. Here we go, squeeze, pinching your shoulder blades together. got some massive back work happening here. I'm looking at that timer like, hello, come on. And switch it over. High pulls with a heel raise as an option to heel raise. Okay, these ones work your entire body. Let's go. Your traps, your rhomboids, your abdominals, your glutes, your delts, your hamstrings. It's all going to be activated. Come on, stabilize. You can do one at a time.
Come on, come on. Nice. Now let's burn up the shoulders. The best for last. I love shoulder work. Oh, no, just kidding. We have core after this. So bent shoulders. Raise it up to shoulder level. Core strong. Let's go. Keep going. And break for a second. Now we're going to go shoulder rotations. We're going to keep our weights up there the whole time. You can always modify by lowering your weights or just doing hands. Don't forget, shoulders are a great benefit to good posture, guys. I said we only have abs, but I'm kidding. We still have glute work, too. Come on. Nap, you got a mini band around. Of course, I forgot mine hanging on the rack, so you're going to see me run around for a second. So you're going to come down on the floor, or you can use the wall. And we're doing a side fire hydrant. Okay, your knee lift up as high as you can while you squeeze the glutes. Here we go. Start without me. I'm going to come right in and join. You know that minivan is a game changer if you have it. Three, two, one, switch it. Got a few seconds. Use that break. Three, two, one, switch to the other side. I don't have to tell you the benefits of glute work, right? Gravity don't lie as we age. Just saying. A little laughs right there. Three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to come and sit on our glutes now. Side to side pull. Option to use that mini band and pull your arm towards the floor opposite to work the obliques. Shoulders back and down. Here we go.
one. Nice. And lastly, over the rainbow. If you have the dumbbell in front of you or any item, you can do one at a time. You can also add the mini band right above your knees. Never leave them on your knees. Here we go. Or you can also do both legs at the same time. Over the rainbow. Let's remember God's promise. He's good to us. Not sure what's going on with the screen. It looks like I'm just in slow-mo, but I'm telling you, I worked hard when I was doing this. <laughs> Keep going. You're not going to quit right now. This is it. Seconds, come on. Fight for it, come on. In three, two, one. You did it. You survived. Thank you, Jesus. All right, as we start to stretch out, get some water. Proud of you. Let's reflect on our second scripture this week during the challenge, which is Isaiah 54, 17. You can say it with me or just listen along as you start, start to stretch your glutes, your hips. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the inheritance of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is from me, says the Lord. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, my friend. Believe and trust that God is on your side. If you're following the Lord and you're seeking Him and praying and asking, He's going to protect you. He's going to make a way. Amen? Keep stretching. We're taking our time today for our stretch. Usually it's pretty quick, but today I was sore. It's important to take time to rest and recover, especially when you're working hard. This can help prevent injury. It can help with soreness after your workout. Drink lots of water, too. And we're going to take some time to stretch the shoulders. Super important to take care of them because a lot of times we can get shoulder injury, especially when working out and not using proper form. It's not the same when we're doing a lot of virtual workouts because your instructor, your trainer can't see you on the other side. We do our best to help you and show you, you know, walk you through cueing and technique, but you have to be very careful and it's important to stretch. Foam roll, lacrosse, use a lacrosse ball too. Those are very helpful. Highly recommend you purchasing one on Amazon because those are great ways to um, do some self myofascial release, which is pretty much like a self massage. You can definitely check out my playlist and do some of those recovery sessions with me.